Tonight, overwhelming reaction to an I-Team investigation that exposed teachers failing the state's teacher test at unprecedented rates. And now, some are taking the state to court because of that problem. This as more teachers come forward to share their own tales of frustration and failure. Here's I-Team investigator Katie Legrone. This teacher now in a legal battle with the state over a teacher test she says isn't fair. She's not the only one. <laughs> At a recent teacher conference in Tampa. Challenging. We have a, a real crisis. So everybody's talking about it. Right. Everybody was talking about this. I'm appalled by this. I'm appalled by this test. Known as the Florida Teacher Certification Exam, it's a must pass if you want to teach in Florida. But after our investigation discovered how recent changes to these tests resulted in unprecedented failures, the newest stats show there hasn't been much improvement. In fact, there's a bigger problem. The number of people taking this test is down by 10% on some tests. This is turning people, good, talented people away. Leaving more school districts like Manatee County, where 30 classes are now being taught by long-term substitutes, many because the teacher couldn't pass the state's test. Not necessarily because they're not a good teacher. Right. How frustrating is that? Just ask a room full of Florida teachers. You just feel so defeated. It's ruining my life. Living it. It makes you feel like, who are you to want to teach these kids? How are you going to help them if you can't pass the test yourself? There's something wrong with that exam. There's a flaw with that exam. It's affected my life tremendously. Larissa Curry earned her bachelor's in education, but after seven failed attempts, she's teaching with a temporary certificate that's about to expire. I don't know what my looking like what it's looking like next year. Melissa Smith also earned her bachelor's and also took the test seven times and failed. That's ridiculous. So she's leaving to get her master's. This god awful experience of failing these exams. I kind of gotten to that point. I may not even come back to Florida. It's a problem really costing these teachers. Two thousand five hundred four thousand over two thousand dollars. I would say over five thousand dollars over five thousand dollars. That's right, the test administered by Pearson View costs more to retake. They're just trying to get, make money off of teachers. It's unprecedented. We caught up with Pearson at that education conference in Tampa. Do you want me to pass along their information? But they sent us back to the state, who these teachers have a final message for. You need to reconsider the way in which you are testing first-year teachers. The state of Florida are losing a lot of passionate and qualified teachers. It's a racket. It makes us feel like we don't matter. See us in action. Teachers who are putting in sweat and tears. This test defeats us. Us teachers will slip through your hands. I matter. I matter. We matter. But most importantly, these kids matter. College is also dealing with fallout from this test. Fewer education majors, loss of funding in some cases, all during a statewide teacher shortage. The state maintains more rigorous teacher tests are in line with student tests. I'm I-Team investigator Katie Legrone, taking action for you.